Rob with the boxing voice here with Hector Tanahata Jr., uh, San Antonio prospect, freshly signed by Golden Boy. First off, congratulations. How do you feel about the whole thing? Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, man, I'm excited. Uh, truly blessed, you know, to be able to sign with someone, you know, I, who was my idol uh, growing up, who I looked up to in boxing and uh, Golden Boy Promotions. I'm just excited and ready to make my professional debut. All right, and uh, you have a connection with Robert Garcia. He scouted you out. How did that come about? Well, his son uh, actually saw me fight in amateurs, and uh, since then, you know, his son told him Robert about me, and uh, you know, they flew me down and we talked. You know, um, just that's how it all started. All right, and your father trained you, Hector Tahada Senior, trained you since day one. But from what he tells me, you're going to be going back and forth from training from San Antonio to Oxnard. Uh, how is that going to help you, and how is that going to help your father and your whole training and development? Well, it's going to give me a lot of experience, you know, working with the Big G and Robert Garcia, you know, who have uh, a lot of experience in boxing. You know, they had a lot of world champions. You know, they, they know what they're doing, and it's just uh, it's going to be a good experience to go down there and train, come back to San Antonio. You know, it's going to teach me a lot. Yeah, and they have deep roots and deep history. I mean, it's, it's like a cult up there in Oxnard, even though it's a small town. What was the vibe up like that for you the first time you went? Man, it's, it's like a, a big family. You know, everyone it gets along with each other. Everyone's cool with each other, you know, joking around. But it's like a big family. You know, everyone gets along, and everyone's uh, willing to help each other. It's just, uh, it was a good vibe. All right, and your, your original dream was to go for the Olympics because you said you looked up to Oscar De La Hoya and tried to do his path. Uh, but what's funny is that you signed with his company, Golden Boy Promotions. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit about what happened and why you had to change of heart and why you're pursuing the pro ranks um, right after high school? Yeah, oh, well, I wanted to be an Olympian. You know, I wanted to win gold, the gold, and that was one of my goals. But um, after I won the, the U.S. Nationals, um, I thought I was going to be you know, one of the favorites and and go more internationally, but uh, obviously I wasn't, you know, I hadn't fought since January, uh, they weren't telling me nothing, um, I just felt like I wasn't one of the favorites, and um, I think we made the right decision in, in going pro. Alright, the last time Robert Garcia got involved with the amateurs and scouted out fighters, that was uh, Victor Ortiz and uh, Brandon Rios, which led to careers and fights versus the likes of Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. Does that kind of play into your motivation, are you still in you know, what's your feelings on that, seeing that the possibilities of where this move can take you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's an honor, you know, because he, he has an eye for scouting. And the last two guys, you know, they fought uh, the biggest guys in boxing. And, you know, that's motivation for me, you know, to, to chase that and uh, eventually fight the biggest guys in boxing in my era. And uh, it's just more, more motivation, you know, to give me work harder and have that vision, you know, to become a world champion like them. All right, and you and uh, Josh Franco got signed by Golden Boy at the same time, and you know Robert Garcia also scouted him out. And Robert Garcia is actually building a gym, which is going to be ran by your father here in San Antonio. Uh, so, what does the plan come in with you working out of here and out of Oxnard again um, with this new kind of move that Robert Garcia is reaching out to Texas? You know, uh, the gym here, you know, it's going to keep us busy, uh, you know, staying ready so we don't have to get ready. So um, we're training here like the, the beginning of camp and, you know, as, as camp gets closer, I guess, or, or maybe two months into camp or whatever, uh, we're going to fly down to California and, and train in uh, Riverside where he's making a new gym. And, uh, yeah, that's where, that's how it's going to plan out. And you're a smooth boxer puncher, and Robert Garcia is known for his fighters to be more brawlers. So uh, for those who are asking, you know, why the move with Robert Garcia, uh, what do you have to say to that, seeing that he was a boxer himself and also his little brother, Mikey? Yeah, uh, yeah, he, Robert was a, a tremendous boxer. You know, I believe he, he believed in hit and not get hit, but still being aggressive, you know. I think that's my style. Like, I like to box. Uh, hit and not get hit and sometimes you know be aggressive too Mikey Garcia is the same way he's a, a good boxer one of the best boxers but uh people don't see it like that but he has, he's actually one of the best boxers out there you know next to Floyd and people like that but um I think he fits my style because seeing the way he used to fight and Mikey you know it's the same style that I have all right and you know starting your career off what weight are you going to start campaigning at what weight do you feel comfortable at now uh I think we're thinking 130 130. 130. You're still 18 years old, right? Yes, sir. Feather. What was that? Feather. Super featherweight? Oh, what, what weight? 130. Oh, yeah. Uh, lightweight. Lightweight. Oh, okay. okay. And, so, and you just turned 18, correct? And just graduated high school? Yeah, yeah. 18. Okay. And uh, your height, you're 5'10", right? Um, and, you know, you have a big frame. You have a, a wide frame. So 
you know, do, do you kind of, I know it's kind of early, but do you see yourself filling out as maybe a welterweight or maybe even a junior middleweight once your body matures? Yeah, I think so. You know, I have a hype for those weights. You know, eventually, uh, as I as my career, you know, unfolds and gets, you know, I get more fights and stuff, uh, start climbing, you know, the weight classes. I think I'll be around those weights. All right, and Golden Boy, um, you know, with the interaction between you and them, what has the talks been like so far uh, with Golden Boy with the signing and how they're going to push your career and how they're going to move you as a prospect? Uh, we we talked a little bit about that. Uh, they said they're going to be moving me around, you know, quite a bit. Uh, I think in a, in a year that I'll have uh, six fights, uh, first two years, six fights, then uh, third year, four fights, something like that. But uh, they're going to be moving me pretty good uh, around different places. All right, and uh, Golden Boy, they got some rebuilding to do. Unfortunately, they had a kind of a fallout where they lost some fighters and they're still going through kind of a political mess. Um, so do you see this as an opportunity for you to kind of bring them back to where they were in 2013, where they were taking charge and on top of boxing? Yeah, yeah, I hope so, man. Uh, we're looking at, to get Golden Boy back to where it was. You know, um, they're recruiting a lot of good, good fighters, and uh, we're looking to make that push to get it to where it was and, and just very excited for it, the opportunity. All right, and a lot of noise over here. Everybody knows you from the from the amateur days, and everybody's kind of anticipating your your move to the pros. And now here you are. So when are, when should fans expect to see you in the ring with no headgear and with eight ounce gloves on? Uh, sometime around August or September. You know that's what we're pushing for a couple months. Uh, that's that's what they should be looking out for, and um, I'll let them know when that happens. All right, I appreciate the time. I just saw you do a killer workout with Ivan Ahead of preparing him for his big fight versus Felix Verdejo, and uh, it was great sparring. But is there any last words, anything you want to get off your chest before we let you go? No, I just want to you know, thank Ben for, the, for this opportunity. Um, he's looking good and in shape. You know, he's, I think he's going to shock uh, the world, you know, a lot of people. And I just want to thank everyone who supports me, um, my dad uh, who trains me, Robert, uh, who's going to be training me, my mom, you know, all my family. Thanks for the support and everyone who's helped me out. Golden Boy, uh, also for giving me the opportunity to sign with them. And just everyone who's helped me out, you know. All right. Uh, appreciate the time again. We'll definitely be keeping you up with you here in San Antonio. Rod signing out with the Boxing Voice. Thank